Hey everyone, this is Grace, and this is entry number 12 of my Literary IC Challenge. And as you can see, Susan sent me a lot of extra goodies. So, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, let me go ahead and first share with you the cute little packaging. She has L's here, and then on the back she has a stuck tape, and it's all packaged up nicely. And, you know, her goodies are in this little bag, and I am so sorry I'm getting to this so late. I have had this since February. So let me break open the twine so you guys can see what lovely ICs she sent. Hold on. All right, I am back. So this was first the card that she sent and very pretty with the, um, it's not holographic, is it? Prism sticker, so very cute. And then this was actually stuck inside. So good friends stick close together. And there's a scripture verse here from Ecclesiastes. Two are better than one. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. So true. Such a great reminder. Which is why when I was in college, my um, church leader used to say, we do not have Lone Ranger Christians. <laughs> Christians do not go about life on their own. And this is the card that she made. So this is really nice. Thank you. I love that. And then the little ribbon. So cute. Anyway, so she wrote in her card that I am the lucky recipient of her first IC. So thank you so much, Susan. I feel very honored to be the first recipient. And she selected three things of her favorite stories. And then she says she made three of mine. So the Giving Tree is actually a really good one, too. Oh, and I love the way she punched out the borders. And oh, do you guys see that? So cute. I love how she cut out and the tree was happy. And then on the back, she has her information, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. And then Beauty and the Beast. Oh, my goodness. This is so cute. Does this open up? Hold on. Let me investigate. All right. It's as I suspected. This little slip, it opens up. And then, oh, my goodness. It's truly wonderful. Wow. And then you open up here. Ah, hold on. This. Wow. Honestly, <laughs> this is such a great picture, Susan. You know why? It's always been a secret dream of mine to have a bookcase from floor to ceiling. I mean, look at that. And then the spiral staircases. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> On YouTube, there are some um, top, what, 100, no, not top 10 or top 20 libraries to visit in the world before you die. And, oh, my gosh, certainly the Bodleian Library is one of them. The library, what was it? There's the Bodleian Library. Where else did I want to go? Ah, oh, I can't remember. There were a bunch, though. Okay, well, obviously, I need to revisit my bucket list of libraries to visit, huh? But this is so pretty. Thank you so much. And I love the lace trim. And, and I'll have to slip her back in. But this is such a great idea. And then, oh, this is so cute. Guess how much I love you. This is such a cute thing. Oh, and it's interactive. Hold on, let me pull. All right, OMG. Because when you pull this out, you get this nice card. I love you right up to the moon and back. This is such a precious book. Actually, last semester, one of my students wanted to write her first paper on this book because the first paper assignment is to explore the um, impact of illustrations on, you know, its respective stories. And one student loved this. She brought it, and then she got to the pictures, and she just felt like she couldn't analyze it enough for a three- to five-page paper, which was disappointing because she could have done so much with it. It's such a great book, but this is not adorable. Thank you so much. Oh, I love these. These are so great. You guys know, well, this one will go back in here, but usually when I get postcards or things like this, I <clears throat> laminate them so that they will last forever and ever and ever. <laughs> 
Anyway, let me continue. Let me put this back and show you the other three. Hold on. All right, I peeked at the three as I was flipping through. Ah, so cute. Anyway, okay. So the first of my favorite books that she sent me was Pride and Prejudice. And I love the ribboning and the pearl trim. And um, she has this, Do not consider me now as an elegant female intending to plague you, but as a rational creature speaking the truth from her art. From her heart. Oh, Elizabeth Bennet. You are quite... So cute. Love it. All right. Thank you. And then, oh, look at this. 221B Baker Street. To a great mind, nothing is little. And, oh, I love the silhouette. And oh, she has one of these little lamps. That is such a brilliant idea with a little gemstone. So, oh, I love it. I know, I have this thing for Sherlock Holmes. At one point, back in the day when I first got really into Sherlock Holmes, I used to think it was such an unfortunate thing that he was a fictional character. <laughs> I wanted Sherlock Holmes to be real. <laughs> I know, the fanciful thinkings of little kids. Anyway, oh, the last one I love, look, classic. Oh, and it's <gasps> colored. The whole thing was kind of weird. This cat was about three feet tall, you see, and he... Anyway, this cat had been... This cat, see, had been... Forget it. It's impossible to talk. To what? To him on a windy day. I love it. Oh, and then she backed it up with um, some Korean newspaper. Very nice. I like it. Very, very cool. All right, so guys, this is um, Love Lufkins. Um, I call her Susan, but, you know, oftentimes in the comments I just say, hey, LL. But this is the six entries from Love Lufkins and a beautiful card and little uh, note card. Oh, I need to open this, huh, and see what goodies she sent. Hold on. All right, guys, so she sent me some lovely goodies. Let me show you first her stickers. Are these not a vibrant array of stickers? Oh, look at that shine. Sorry, I hope I didn't blind anyone with this, but oh, do you see the metallic shine on it? So lovely. And then she sent me these. Oh, how cute. Oh, and look at the little turtle. You guys know I am the turtle of the family, so. <laughs> so cute. And then the last two in the package are these little sticky notes. And so I love Trolls. I have yet to see the Trolls movie. I know. I'll, I'll watch it one of these days. I may end up watching it this Sunday because I told the youth kids I was going to take all of my craft stuff and we were going to craft for the upcoming um, Easter card fundraiser challenge. And so maybe I'll just take the Trolls movie and just pop it up while we craft. But oh, look how cute. It just makes me so happy seeing little happy. And then this is Dory and Nemo, and there's the dad. Oh, thank you. I will definitely have put these to good use. I'm always using these little sticky notes, especially at the beginning of the term, when my students are trying to add and add some of my classes, and they need, like, add codes and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, um, unfortunately, Susan does not post YouTube videos. So cute. Can't get over it. Anyway, um... But she is on Instagram, so I will link down in the description bar her Instagram. And, yeah, Facebook I won't, but I'll do Instagram. And, hey, she's got a YouTube channel listed in her thing. Huh. I mean, this I think is okay to share. But I don't think she films any YouTube videos yet. So we'll see. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you guys check her out on Instagram. She, I, I love the stuff that she makes. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much, Susan, and I will see you guys later um, with entry 13. <laughs> All right, take care. Bye.